then you can come flat on the inside of their elbow here. And I can't see what I'm doing here, but I can feel what I'm doing. And you need to use all your senses when you're grooming dogs. You can hear it, you can see it. I mean, I probably wouldn't use your sense of taste for anything, but you can smell different things and you can see things and you can hear them. So, use all your senses when grooming. We rely a lot on our eyes but you can rely on your ears and your hands as well. So you can feel down here and you would feel that there's, it's thicker and it's clumpy. And the more you work with the dogs, the easier it'll, it'll be to spot. And you'll be able to spot it from a distance driving down the road and go, oh no, they need to brush their dog, it's all matted. Let me give them my card. <laughs> and maybe you'll get a new client that way. <laughs> so, but, you know, talk to people and, and help them understand because they don't know, we see this all the time, so it's second nature to us. It just comes very, very easily after a while, but they, do, they don't know this is maybe their only dog. They have other things going on in their life. So, it's not always their first priority is, is their dog's grooming. So if you need to remind them or send out a reminder card or call them or pre-book, that is always helpful.